matchup between the Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. And they'll be led by the NFL's Offensive Rookie of the Year for 2020 in his second season, former Oregon Duck, Justin Herbert. And his stat line last week, that's not going to get him to the Pro Bowl. All right, no touchdowns, no interceptions, but they won. And so the bottom line for him is team won, managed the game effectively, led them to victory. He's doing all the right things. And he's going to get forward for about five, but then may be coming back. What say you, Mr. Referee? So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. <laughs> now a carry for Sanders. And some room for him there as he'll take this up to about the 15. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Here's Herbert. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Goddard. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 12-yard line. They lose two on that last play, so things get even tougher. Third and long coming up. A shotgun snap for Herbert. Flush to his right. And yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. On fourth down, out is the punter Cameron Johnston to boot it away. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. So possession goes over here on the punt and the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and ten. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. Looking to throw, Prescott. They're looking for Lamb, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Alex Singleton. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. Tucker with the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. So they'll get another shot off. It's following that pick six, and now the kick is away. Pollard elects to keep it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Dak and the Cowboys ready for their next possession. And looking to erase his memory bank from his opening drive a moment ago that ended in a pick six for the first points of the ball game. And in my experience, a lot of quarterbacks, after throwing a pick six, the first thing they want to do is fire another one and get those points back immediately. But what really helps you get back in sync is a good, long, methodical drive, mixing the run and the pass, tamp things down a little bit. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high powered, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. Well, these two teams they met earlier in the season in Philly with the Eagles winning that ball game. So they're trying to win here in Philadelphia to capture the season series. And out of the gun, here's Prescott. And he's got Ezekiel Elliott. Oh, Elliott going to be hit. He coughs it up, loose football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. Thank goodness.
this for heaters up here. And thank goodness I don't have to carry the football in this game. It's January. It's cold out there. Trying to clutch the football and absorb the hits. Not easily done. Yeah, we saw a product of the elements right there. Now Herbert following the turnover. Flushed out right. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Now after the... Mike McCarthy pretty decisive. He brings out that red challenge flag. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. And they've got it in the red zone now, down at about the 19. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sacked back at the 29. They'll wind up losing 10 on the sack, and it'll lead to a third and long. Well, the pass rush has been a real strength of late. They know how to get after the quarterback. Absolutely. Four sacks last week. That's their first one here. Anything in particular you've seen from them or on film? I think that they're winning athletically up front, winning those one-on-one -on -one battles. But also, when the offensive line wants to keep everyone in and mass protect, they know how to scheme their way back to the quarterback as well. And he will not get what he needed as he stops short of the first down and around the 22. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. And Tucker's kick right there. It's good. And the lead moves to 10 zip. So a nice kick there as they're able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Move yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. This one will come out to the 25 as Pollard is going to elect not to return it. Possession of the football going back to the Cowboys. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when they only gave up the field goal and they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive? A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown, but they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, punching the end zone without turning it over. Dak going to hand it to Elliott on the option. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Now a look at Smith. Not sure exactly what happened, but he's still down. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. And this is certainly not what you want to see in the final week of the year. We'll be back. Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. Picked off by Alex Singleton. And a terrific return as he brings his all the way back to the 30. When a team's turned it over three times in the first half, we just look at the offense and say, guys, what are you doing? But instead, we really should be looking at the defense. They've created the takeaways. Two interceptions, one cause fumble. They played awfully well swarming to the ball here in the first half. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Now it's Herbert. out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Had to get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tuck rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward. Incomplete pass. Well, this is intercepted. Intended for Hill. Picked off around the 27. 
He's at the 30. 10. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. Well, dare I say it, it's kind of quid pro quo. Both defenses now with an interception return for a touchdown. Your vocabulary, sir. Well done. Zerline good with a PAT. And the lead is down to a field goal. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last, that didn't bother you too much last time? No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. To throw on second and ten, Herbert eluding the pressure right. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. He's got his 6'5 receiver. That's Tim Patrick. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Micah Parsons, the linebacker, in on the tackle. So, Charles, we have reached the end here of a long season, Week 18, which we don't say very often, although this is not the first Week 18 that the NFL has ever seen. Not at all, and Brandon, some of the people might be a little bit too young to remember, but back in 1993, the league experimented with giving teams two open weeks for the year, and we also saw Week 18 when the league was on pause for a few weeks in 2001 following the attacks on September 11th. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. These two teams, you might recall, met up back in September in week three. And it was the Eagles who got the win on the road. So now they look to finish off the sweep here in Philly. Meanwhile, Herbert's throw caught by his receiver, Hill. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 16. Sanders and he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11 on the tackle it's Randy Gregory the run got four now they deal with a second and six here's Herbert escaping the pressure right and that's gonna be caught for an Eagles touchdown Tyreek Hill with his 16th touchdown of the year. And the Eagles add on to their lead. He was able to move around and found some vision to throw the football. And how about how he ended it? Boy, he had some zip on that throw. Yeah, it doesn't hurt to have an arm like that. Results in the touchdown here. Great play offensively. Tucker able to connect on the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. On the return, Tony Pollard from his end zone. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. On second and nine. Prescott 
And he'll go underneath here to Elliott. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. And I like the idea here. Get the ball in his hands, even if it's in the passing game. Three catches a week ago, and he does a nice job here to pick up yardage. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They run here with Rico Dowdle. And oh, his first carry, he loses the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. This defense, Charles, very opportunistic here early. A second fumble recovery in this first quarter of play. Yeah, you mentioned the right word, opportunistic and aggressive, because once they got the first fumble recovery, they were eager to get a second one, and sometimes they just come in bunches. On the flip side, they've got to figure out how to hold the ball because the play calls seem to be okay. They're just not executing. Eight yards to go on second down. Herbert now. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Hill. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Herbert. And this is caught. Touchdown. Second touchdown of the game, 17th on the year. And the Eagles are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Tucker with the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Dak and the Cowboy offense heading back onto the field. He and his team, they have had a rough go of it here in this first half. Maybe time for him to put his foot down here in the second quarter. Put his foot down and become a little more accurate throwing the football. He's already thrown two interceptions. He's trying to find a way to equal things out. And instead of it going to the opponents, get it to his own receivers and find the end zone. Yeah, you mentioned those two picks. No touchdown passes yet either. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. To throw is Prescott. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Prescott from the gun. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. Second and ten. The give is to Elliott. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. So, C.D., this defense, they know that they have to be at their very best when they're taking on a team here that's in the midst of a winning streak that's now stretched over multiple months, not weeks, months. And I think the challenge they put upon themselves is we want to be the guys to end that streak. And what's working in their favor, the winning streak on the other side. Sometimes that carries a burden with it because they feel like they have to play perfectly as well. Let's just go out there and get them is the idea. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Again to Elliott. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Now on second and 13. Prescott over the middle complete. That's Schultz. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Oh, it's time to give more credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route. And he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Trying to improvise. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. 
With nowhere to throw it, decided to scramble, and a nice job, CD. Got the yardage that he needed. Yeah, and his teammates are certainly going to appreciate that effort, even if his coaches don't, because they would have wanted him to slide and protect himself. But he chose team gain over personal protection. Meanwhile, Dax throw there, caught by Gallup. And they'll get this down to the 10. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. That's a gain of six on the first down run. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Elliott. There, he's only going to get a yard to about the two. If you're going to run against this unit, especially down here, just beware. I mean, they're the top rushing defense in the league. Yeah, and then they go ahead and they double down with the whole thing because you think, okay, let's throw the ball. Oh, yeah, that's right. They defend the pass pretty well, too. Very difficult task right now. A running play. It's down. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Rico Dowdle. His first touchdown on the year. And the Cowboys get a bit closer. So it was the passing game that got him down here, but closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. Certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the goal line. Zerline connects on the extra point, and the lead is trimmed down to 10. On the return, Boston Scott. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. Justin Herbert leading this unit out for their next possession. And he's looked pretty good. Does have the one interception, but two touchdown passes so far. Your analysis. They'll take the offset. When you're talking about throwing two touchdown passes, no one wants to see an interception thrown, but those things happen in the course of a ball game and over the course of a season. But throwing two touchdown passes, that's why the team has an advantage. That's what they're looking for more of. They'll be hoping to make it a 3-1 to one ratio here in the second quarter. From the 38, Herbert. It's hauled in by Lee Smith. That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. And he's going to take this one up only to about the 44-yard line. And now it looks like we've got a Cowboy shaken up down there on the field. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. And this is certainly not what you want to see in the final week of the year. We'll be back. Herbert's throw complete there to Smith. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Running right. Here's Sanders. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 44 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. They'll run with Sanders. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. Only people celebrating? The guys who just gave up that play. Now a give right side. Sanders. And he'll take this inside the 30 to about the 29, maybe the 28-yard line. Now we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player, and it appears to be Devontae Smith who's having some problems here. And this is certainly not what you want to see in the final week of the year. We'll be back. Meanwhile, Herbert's throw taken in here by Patrick. They'll wind up getting 10 back there as it'll leave them with a third and five. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch. But you and I both know 
that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Flush to his right. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. Needing the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. I don't care what he's listed in the program. Fullback, running back, tailback, it doesn't matter. He ran that play like a fullback. Just like the old days when we saw the fullback dive. How about him picking that one up? Oh, they needed a yard on fourth down. That's what he's there for, right? Exactly. Line him up, short yardage situation, and say, here it is, big man. Go get it. Again, they'll go right back to their fullback. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Dallas Goddard, his 17th touchdown now on the season. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. Now Tucker to add the PAT. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This will come out to the 25 as Lewis is going to opt to not return it. Dallas offense set for this next drive. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. Prescott off play action. And incomplete on the deep ball. Another dangerous throw there, partner. I mean, he's already thrown two interceptions here in the first half. I don't know if you want to keep throwing up 50-50 balls when you've had that kind of lack of success. Yeah, absolutely. Very well could have been a third interception in half number one. Prescott on third and two. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. On second and ten, Prescott looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Schultz. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now, as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Prescott yet again. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Schultz. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First and 10 here. And you know, if they could just get three out of this, there's something about narrowing it to a two score game at half that makes it feel like much less of an obstacle. Meanwhile, Prescott's throw complete into the hands of Schultz here. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. From the left hash, it's an even 50-yard attempt. And that's off the right upright, and it bounces away no good. And this score will stay right where it is. 
So plenty of leg, but it's the accuracy there that lets him down. Yeah, he hit it really well. I think this might have been good from 55, but you'll see it just conk off that upright, and they're denied a chance at three points. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And they'll have time for one play. It's two seconds on the clock. Rolling to his right. Going deep here for Watkins. Breaks through the contact. And he will be brought down as time has now run out on this first half of action. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. And now due to apparent time constraints, we fast forward to the beginning of the second half. It's the Cowboys who get the football first, and they trail here as well as we resume action in the third quarter. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Out come the Cowboys now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball into the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Prescott. He'll get this to his running back, Dowdle. Two yards on the pickup there. And that's going to lead to a third down. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. He's going to find Gallup here complete. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. And they call it a loss of a yard there. And it'll be fourth down. Here's Brian Anger now. As he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. This is fielded at the 27. An excellent return that time. 26 yards. And the Eagles will have great starting field position here as they take over. First and ten, it's Sanders. And they'll get this just to the 47. One-yard gain. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. On second and nine, Herbert. Flushed out right. And his throw is going to be incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies. On Herbert, his third interception. Picked off near the 42. Pass the 20. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. I think this is where you have to have the term situational football in your head because this game is pretty much in the palm of your hand. And the one thing you can't afford to do, turn the ball over. Now you've given the patient a little bit of a heartbeat, haven't you? And now they're feeling it and they're back in this game. Yeah, still a little bit of a lead, but that makes things more interesting. We're still just in the third quarter here. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And here's Scott to return it. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And following the pick six, and they had decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this run. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, and they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. 
Herbert's throw complete to Rager. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. On the run, it's Dowdle. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Prescott now. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Throwing. Prescott. And this ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. C.D. Lamb, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Cowboys draw a bit closer. Zerline good with a P.A.T. And the lead is down to a field goal. Just a four-play drive that time. And it's capped off for the Cowboys' touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And here's Scott to return it. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, called it the 26. Now back to work for Miles Sanders in the Philly offense. And there are the numbers. Got off to that torrid hot start. We thought he was in for maybe a career day. Not the case. No doubt about it. It almost looks like a misprint after what we saw in the first half. But let's give a little bit of credit to the guys on our side of the ball. They went into halftime, made a few adjustments. And you know what else? They didn't lose their confidence in how their ability to play. Because a lot of times you get beat down in the first half. It gets ugly in the second half. They've come out with a new resolve and a renewed determination. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. And this is certainly not what you want to see in the final week of the year. We'll be back. And now here's a deep shot that's complete. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A big play that time through the air. 30 yards. When they've needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. They'll run on first down. It's Sanders. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Back-to-back -back stops make it third and ten. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. He's got Smith here. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, 
there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Dallas Goddard, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Eagles had six to their lead. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. So that drive in total eight plays, and a nine-yard run on the end of it. Tucker down to kick it away following the touchdown. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the end line. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. On first and ten, Prescott. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Alex Singleton. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles' defense gets a pick six TD. Tucker now to add the point after. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. And fresh off the pick six. They've got to forget about that quickly. In this case now, the guy throwing the ball, he's got to be like what we talk about with defensive bats who get beat for a long touchdown. Short-term memory, right back out there doing the things that he does best and knowing that taking care of the ball is paramount. Here's his opportunity. It all comes back to those defensive backs for the formal D, former DB, right? I, I don't know where that comes from. It yeah. just kind of emerges out of me for some it's reason. It's deep in there, right? Yeah. <laughs> Prescott's throw taken in by Cooper here. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football. And right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. Well, here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. On the give, this is their fullback. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. I know a lot of times we like to put players in certain boxes. He does this and he does that. But this guy, he can do a little bit of everything. He's not just a lead blocker or a guy who protects the passer. Handing the ball, he might want to get out of the way. First down, Prescott. Throw left side complete. That's Schultz. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and five. Now Prescott. Got his man there complete to Gallup. And he is out of bounds inside the 30.
Prescott looks to throw on first. He finds his target. It's Schultz. Three yards the game there, second down. To the air again, Prescott. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Inside give to Arma, the fullback. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. A gain of three, second down. A good solid gain there on first down, but the defense has to be happy. They didn't let it pop for anything bigger. Again, they go with a fullback Arma. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. The Cowboys on third down. They've been very good, five for seven thus far. This time it's third and three. Prescott to throw it. Touchdown! That's caught. Dalton Schultz with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Cowboys have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Zerline connects on the extra point, and the lead is trimmed down to 10. A pretty long drive that time, 11 plays all told. And it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Philadelphia's offense ready to go again. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll run it, Sanders. Sanders, a first down, still going. And he'll be pulled down as a penalty flag will rain in as well. And that would appear to be a face mask. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration. Not a good play. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So that one will be accepted. to throw here, Herbert. Looking left side for Watkins, and he's got it. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. The Eagles on third down. Lacking much success. Just two for seven to this point. This is third and eight. Now right, this one goes to Patrick. And the Eagles are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And that pickup on the first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. And Goddard's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. 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 Dallas Goddard there to make the grab. And the Eagles are on their way to a 13th win of the year as they add on to their lead. Tuck 
Baker with the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. will come out to the 25 as Lewis is going to opt to not return it. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And after all those wins that they've reeled off, it seems that they finally have met their match in a big fourth quarter hole. But still, what a run it's been. It feels like they have not lost in forever. Prescott on first down. On the left side, Gallup's got it. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Here's Prescott. That's caught once again by Gallup. And they're able to get this one across the 35. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now Prescott. He finds his man complete. And Schultz and able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Back to back 11 yard gains, and they've got another first down. And again, it's Prescott. Throw right side, taken in by Gallup. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. down throw for Prescott going right side here and that's complete they'll contain him to just four second down they'll throw again Prescott Wilson's got it complete and he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. And this is certainly not what you want to see in the final week of the year. We'll be back. This will be play number seven on the drive, third and a yard. Looking to throw, Prescott to the left side and complete for Amari Cooper. And he will have a Cowboys first down, and he's going to have it by plenty, able to get eight yards there on third and two. Here's Prescott. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. A gain of six there on first. They've gone to their fullback quite a bit. He'll get it again. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. They're going to look to throw. Outright completes it to Jarwin. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. To throw is Prescott. 
Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. Something we haven't really seen much of from him, an incomplete pass. Yeah, last week he finished at 70%. This week he's up over 80%. I don't know how you slow him down. Pass rush is usually the best way, because a quarterback on his back usually can't complete a pass. Now he's got it, and he'll take this into the end zone. Now hold on here, we do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. And yes, they want the points, so they will decline <laughs> the penalty. No question there. You don't think they spent a couple of seconds mulling over what the penalty would do I don't would even do know why they asked the sideline. Not at all. When you put the ball in the end zone on a takeaway, take the points and keep moving. Zerline good with a PAT. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Eagles' hands team able to cover it up. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. A run there on first down and a pretty good one of five yards, so make it second and five. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll go again with Sanders. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Shotgun snap, and then the give to Sanders. Stops short of the 25. The second effort couldn't free him. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. Now Sanders. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, They've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. 99 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. Scott, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Eagles add on to their lead. And to me, that touchdown allows you to start grinning widely on your sideline. I think they pretty much locked this one away. Yeah, that's the clincher, the proverbial icing on the cake, if you will. They'll give it to the fullback up the middle. And he's going to be hit and taken down in the backfield. Just nowhere to run that time. And the try for two is snuffed out. An unsuccessful attempt at the two-point conversion. And it was a triple option play. And they chose option one, handing it to the fullback. And that's not normal. And sometimes you just miss your read key, right? Yeah, I think so. And sometimes they actually call that, thinking that maybe everyone will bypass the fullback going out to the, the tailback or the quarterback. But in this case, they overwhelmed him and stopped him. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. 
Here's Dak. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that is incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. One last shot now for Prescott. He's going to let it fly. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by Ronnie McLeod. And the Eagles come up with a late turnover, but it will probably only matter to the statisticians as this ball game is now officially over. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the...